Tip number 56. If you are soldering a BJ manually, for example by using a hot air gun, watch when it settles down. And yes, you will be able to see when the solder melts down. I uh, still remember when, <laughs> when we were soldering our very first BGA, like it was in 2002, and it was very expensive to send uh, our prototype to real assembly house, so we assembled the boards by ourselves, and one of the components was BGA, the processor. And I was really worried, like, uh, how I'm going to know if the processor was soldered properly. And uh, I mentioned this in a couple of other videos when we were soldering the, the board, the BGA. I actually brought uh, iron from home, like real iron, like used for clothes. And we put two of them on top of each other and we put the board between the irons. And uh, I was surprised. I was able to see when the BGA uh, melted down, well, not the whole chip, yeah, when the balls of BGA melted down. When you watch carefully, you will see how it corrects itself and then it just goes down. I don't have a very nice video from this, but some time ago I created this one, this blurry video, but I think it's going to give you an idea of what you should be expecting. This is not even BGA, it is QFN package, but it's very similar for BGA. Here I uh, use a red rectangle, so you can see how this edge, how this corner of the component will move a little bit, so it corrects itself. Even if you don't place it exactly right on the path, it still has some uh, uh, possibility to correct itself when it starts melting. And then it just goes down. Watch very carefully because it's not so big movement. Yeah, I'm going to play it. So watch here. Are you watching? Still here. Ah, it moved. And it went down. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's something similar what you would uh, see on the BGA. Tip number 56, if you are soldering a BJ manually, for example by using a hot air gun, watch when it settles down. Why? That is the moment when solder has melted down. 